another weekend, another hike. Just enjoying uh, some of the beauty on offer here in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. This park has like a little zoo. We're checking out some of the wild and exotic animals they have on display, such as the duck. We've got turtles, we've got some roosters, Nagoya chickens, Moromoto guinea pig, normal rabbits. <laughs> All right, I take it back. I was talking a little bit trash about this zoo, but you know what? They got monkeys. Look at this guy. He should be chilling in a natural hot spring somewhere in the middle of the snow. Hey, buddy. There's actually a lot of these classic minis in Japan. I see them all the time. Spot the difference. And the Japanese version, Daihatsu. We're taking a little weekend trip, and that means we are gonna ride the motorcycle. We love the Sylvia, but this weather is motorcycle riding weather, so gotta take advantage of that while we can before it gets too cold in the winter, and then we'll switch to Sylvia mode for those trips. So, uh, yeah, come along. So where are we actually going? Hakone. Hakone. So some of you guys might know Hakone. It's kind of got some famous driving roads and some beautiful nature and some uh, views of Fuji. So we're really gonna enjoy just uh, yeah about 24 hours there and come back. It's just a short trip, so let's have fun. I've never talked about the bike on the channel. I love this thing. This bike is awesome. For those of you who care, or if you don't know, it's a Triumph Speed Twin. It's a 2019 model and uh, it's awesome. It looks like it's about a 400cc bike, but it's a 1200, so this thing rips. Kind of drives like a, like a muscle car. It's just super torquey and lots of fun. And uh, looks nice. Had a good stay uh, at this place last night here in Hakone and uh, a yeah, very nice time in the, the onsen, the natural hot springs. And we're on our way out for some driving.
pretty sweet 7-Eleven. Hey, check the view. Nice. Alright, we're out in the middle of nowhere, tracking down fresh handmade soba noodles lunch. And here it is. Bit of a strange feeling, it's like we're entering somebody's house. So this place is called Owakodani. Pretty famous spot, active volcano here. So it's actually dangerous, you can't go right now beyond this area here. Volcanic gas warning. And it's got a sick view of Fuji. It's incredible. I don't know what this looks like in video, but in person it's so epic. Massive in person, it's so cool. It's getting very volcanic over here. It's like a weird yellow color. And it also reeks of sulfur here too, which if you stay in Japan long enough, you get used to that smell in the, uh, the onsen, the hot springs. It actually becomes kinda, kinda nice. <sighs> so if you can't tell, it's um, these black eggs, they call like a onsen tamago, like these black, hot spring eggs <laughs> are kind of the uh, the famous thing to eat and to get up here and that's why people are even sitting on the black eggs as you can see. <laughs> oh Japan, always cute. Always finding a way to incorporate a Hello Kitty. Okay, we just got scammed pretty hard by this place. Um, in the spirit of the black egg, we got the black ice cream, which is like a chocolate flavor. Here it is. That's just chocolate ice cream, man. There's nothing black about that. We got scammed. You got us this time, Owakudani, but you won't get us next time. All right, we're done here, and what do you think? Time to get back home? Yep. Let's roll. Thank you.